What is up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm bringing you a Primarina and Kilowattril team by my good friend Evan. Now Evan, just a little bit ago, won a small tour with this team, and I was in that tour and he kind of whooped me with this team too. Uh, we ran into each other twice and I only ever took one game off of him. Uh, but it's a really strong team. Basically the idea is Primarina can set up Calm Mines next to the support of Fake Out, Rillaboom, and Fake Out Incineroar. Or Golden Go can set up Nasty Plots next to Rillaboom and Incineroar. High Dragon is just a strong nuke of a Pokemon that swaps well with Golden Go because they basically resist each other's weaknesses. And then Kilowattril is an excellent Tailwind setter. It's one of the fastest Pokemon available in Regulation H. I think it's just like Talonflame, Electrode and Dragapult are faster than it, so it's like it's pretty good. It might as well be Prankster Tailwind, but also it has competitive. So whenever you see an Incineroar, or like a Gyarados, or a Salamence, or a Tauros with Intimidate, you can just go ahead and get a free plus two special attack off of that, and then mess them up. Don't sleep on this Kilowattril. This Kilowattril caused me a lot of problems. Uh, but anyways, super cool team. I'm excited to play it. Let's jump on into it. All right, here's a team. Perigraph Blood Moon, Incineroar, Oranguru, Corviknight, and High Dragon. Very strong team, very strong Trick Room modes, but also a High Dragon. Okay, uh, for their Trick Room mode, I think I'm most worried about nothing. Primarina can handle all their crazy special attackers. Just gotta get some Calm Minds up. Uh, they'd probably go Incin, for Rigorath to get it up. In which case... I mean, I could try to get some Calm Mind boost with Primarina, that would be good. Or if I think Incin's gonna lead, I could go kill a Watchel, get the special attack boost, alongside Golden Go, who can't be faked out. Terra Ghost kill a Watchel. I think I want to go with that. Kill a Watchel Golden Go. Still like Primarina. And then maybe Rillaboom. They do block priority. They have Corviknight. How am I going to get through Corviknight? Has to be Kill a Watchel, Primarina. High Dragon works too. I don't know if High Dragon's the best into this team. Or max speed. But Rillaboom just feels kind of bad, honestly. I don't want to get walled by Corviknight. I should go High Dragon. I don't know. The last the last one's a hard call. I'm leading this because I think it's going to be Incin plus Trick Room Setter. Probably for Rigorath, but maybe a Rangaroo. If it isn't, if it's just Blood Moon for Rigorath lead, I'm a little scared. Incineroar for Rigorath. Exactly what I wanted to see. Let's go. Thank you! Alright. Now I will Terra Ghost so I cannot get faked out. Launch a big, mean Thunderbolt into Furigarath. Follow it up with a Make It Rain. Now there are ways around this. Uh, I, I ran a Furigarath recently with Terra Electric. It can take both of these hits. Um, they could call this and just not go for Fake Out and do some big damage into either of my Pokemon. They do go for the Fake Out, yes. That's huge. All right, let's see if this double up gets the KO. I think it should. Whew, that does a lot. No Barry, you're gone. Get out of here, Perigraph. No Trick Room this time. Now they could still have a Rankaroo in the back. And it's ju it, just because we got one KO doesn't mean the game's over. Our Golden Ghost sitting at minus one. Incineroar has a good matchup here, kinda. Moonbeam. There's the bear. Alright. Hyper Voice or Earth Power. Uh, since we already Terrid, I think it would be an Earth Power and a Golden Go. That could go to High Dragon. High Dragon can also take a Dark or Fire move coming at it. They just pivot so well together. I think that's what I want to do. Kilowattril, meanwhile, can... I think I just want to Thunderbolt Incineroar and swap to High Dragon. Get some damage on Incin. I, there's no way a plus two Thunderbolt KOs Incin. 
and I'm worried the bear might go for a protect, but I don't think it would in that position. Oh, it did! Okay, well, I covered for that. Good. I'm, I'm surprised by it, but this works out. That did not do as much to incident as I was hoping, and knock off. Well, we have Sash anyway. Doesn't matter. Thunderbolt can finish Ensign. And they can swap... I guess they could go to the High Dragon. Have fun with that. Thunderbolt, and I think I'm willing to launch a Draco. No, I'm not. I just want... To, okay, I want to Thunderbolt the Ensign for sure. But I think I only want to Dark Pulse the bear. I don't want to risk a miss. And doing over half with Dark Pulse would put me in a good position with anything in the back. Yeah, I think that's fine. They don't swap anything. Insin goes down. Thank you, Kilowattral. You're probably going out this turn. But I can also flinch. Yeah, that does about half. Actually, since it only does half, Draco wouldn't have KO'd. So Dark Pulse was the right call. The Hyper Voice only does a little over half to High Dragon. That's not Life Orb, is it? It is Life Orb. Okay. Alright, they could have High Dragon. Oranguru, or what was the other thing they had? I think Primarina or Golden Go are fine here. I'll go Primarina just in case it's High Dragon. High Dragon can't touch a Primarina at all. It's Corviknight. Okay, fine. I guess Golden Go might have been a little better here, whatever. Uh, I'm happy to Hyper Voice, that should take care of Moonbeam. Though we don't know the speed tier. How fast are we? 105? That's faster than Modest Bear. So I, I'm uh, Modest 252 Bear. And I, I think they're a Trick Room team, so I don't think they're going to be that fast anyway. So yeah, Hyper Voice should go first. And I'll just Dark Pulse into Corviknight. I guess they could protect Bear and Tailwind here, but they'd have to take a Dark Pulse and a Hyper Voice on Corviknight. Uh, they could have Corviknight faster, just take a Dark Pulse, Tailwind, then use like Blood Moon or something, but I think we got this. Okay, yeah, it's a Protect from Bear. Could be a Tailwind then. I could definitely see this being Tailwind. Dark Pulse, no way that KOs. That was over half though. High Dragon's strong. And they've got a berry. Okay, they can live Hyper Voice then. We are confirmed faster than their Corviknight. That's cool. So long as they don't Tailwind, we can go first next turn. Good damage. And a flinch from Dark Pulse. GG. Oh yeah. Hyper Voice and I will Dark Pulse the bear this time. Since we confirmed we're faster than the Corviknight. Yeah, okay, they forfeit anyway. GG. That was fun. All right, here we go. Oh no. Lily Cole, Indeedy Armor Rouge, Dragapult, and Blood Moon Ursaluna. I'm terrified. This is a very scary team that could go many different ways. I think High Dragon's pretty good. Into Lily Cole, we do have to fear close combat and sleep powder. I guess we could have Ensign to help with like intimidate and at least threatening fake out. We have knockoff, yeah. And flare blades. Uh, and DD Armor Rouge is a trouble. Dragapult U-turn into Terra Ghost Armor Rouge plus Indeedee in the back is I think what they're doing with weakness policy and weak armor. So having dark types would be nice. Maybe even threaten to do something with other types? I don't know. High Dragon lead with Lily Cole. I do want Incin. Little Boom could change the terrain, so it's okay. And then Pre Marina for sure. If I can get a, <laughs> it's hard to get Call Mind opportunities, but if I get one, I could be pretty good into this team. Lilligant is a threat, though, to Primarina. That's a good card. 
All right, what you got? In just in DD Armor Rouge for the lead. Okay. Got it. I understand. Well, there's not going to be an expanding force, at least. Pretty sure. We could double in DD and take it out. We could try to attack Armor Rouge. One play I'm interested in is swapping to Rillaboom and using Fake Out with Ensign, just to stall a turn and get rid of their terrain. But their terrain isn't worth much when I have Dark Knight. Is there a way for me to never let them put up Trick Room? And, or just wall them out when they do? Yeah, I think bringing in Rillaboom is fine. And that'll let me fake out the Armor Rouge. So that's what I want to do first. Plus, if I do that, I could see if they are, in fact, peak armor. And then I can do stuff like Parting Shot, stall out a little bit. The Trick Room does end up going up. Protect from Armor Rouge. I see. So the Ndidi is going to try to Trick Room. Gotcha. I get it. That makes sense. Unlikely to be an expanding force. Probably a fire move into Rillaboom. But Rillaboom has a fake out turn here. So I'm happy to go fake out into Armor Rouge. And knock off into Armor Rouge. If it's weak armor, which maybe it isn't in this case. That'll do some good damage. And it'll keep them from doing any damage with that Armor Rouge. Indeedy swapping to Torkoal could happen here, but I'm not in a position where I'm super threatened by a Torkoal. Yeah, there goes Indeedy. And it is into Torkoal! Alright. Not a bad play. Here's a Terra from the Armor Rouge. Please don't be Ghost. That would be insane. Stellar. Fine. Fine by me. Weak armor? No weak armor, at least. Okay. So maybe I was wrong about the U-turn shenanigans. And Knockoff takes it out. With a crit! Uh, what was your item? I'm very interested in what your item was. Because you're not weak to U-turn, so it's probably not weakness policy. And you weren't weak armor. It was power armor. They were going to go for a meteor beam. <laughs> That's pretty common on armor rouge. That's not that crazy. Okay, here's an Ursa Luna. That's scary. Eruption won't do much if I Terra Fire. And then you've already burnt Terra, so I could wood hammer your Ursa Luna. Um, could be Grassy Glide, but that won't KO Ursa Luna. So I'm thinking it's wood hammer. Parting shot Torkoal? Rillaboom might be going down this turn. Terrifier, Wood Hammer. I think Knock Off into Torkoal is better. It's a little more permanent. If they have a boosting item of some kind, I take that off and I weaken their eruption. They're not swapping anything. But without Terra, I think they would have to commit, like, call and use Earth Power into the Rillaboom. I don't think Eruption plus, like, Hyper Voice is going to do it. Incineroar, maybe. Okay, no, we both live. Perfect. Perfect. We probably trade for the, for the bear. Knock off Charcoal, that's great. Wood Hammer. It will get their Psychic terrain back, though. Does the Rillaboom live? Nope. That is okay. Indeedy Torkoal does not threaten Primarina, so it's time for Primarina to come in. And then Ensign may have served its purpose. I don't know if I want to swap it out. Because they set Trick Room, and then they swapped in Torkoal, and then they erupted. 
So that's two turns. There's two turns left. High Dragon will be vulnerable for one turn of Trick Room. One way or another. The Sun Up, Hyper Voice doesn't do as much. Do I have leftovers? I do. I think... I think my play is Calm Mind on Primarina here. And if they have something crazy like Solar Beam or try to single target the Primarina or miss a Heat Wave, I should try to Parting Shot the Torkoal. Okay, they're just gonna follow me. That's not unusual. Is it just Eruption then? It's Earth Power into Primarina. Oh, we can take those all day. Don't drop it. Good, no drop. I like that, because that means High Dragon doesn't have to take a hit. I can swap into Incin this turn, stall out the last turn of Trick Room. Maybe even protect Free Marina, though I don't think I need to protect Free Marina. Nothing's threatening it. I can just start going for Hyper Voice. High Dragon might be threatened by a Dazzling Gleam or a Luring Voice from Indeedee, though. So I do want to swap that back out into Incin. This should be the last turn of Trick Room. Yep. Hyper Voice. Sorry, Ensign, you are a sacrifice. Oh, battle's canceled. Yep, they saw what was going on. GG, Primarina Checkmate. Okay, good. It's Regulation H. Uh, it's Lily Cole with the old fashioned Lilligan. They also have Sylveon and Vaporeon and Meowskarada, lots of cats, and a Tyranitar. Okay. Primarina can take an eruption. High Dragon can take an eruption. Incineroar can take an eruption. And then a Terra on Rillaboom or Golden Goat can take an eruption. I'm pro- oh, they've got two weathers too. I'm mostly worried about Lily Cole. They don't have- tr oh they could have Trick Room on Meowskarada actually. I gotta watch out for that. Okay. Primarina would be probably pretty weak to Lil again. But they don't have anything for Fake Out, so Incineroar could be a good lead. Fake something out, and then use High Dragon to do some real damage. I do want Primarina. It's good in into that like whole team, other than like Meowskarada. I've got Steel Terra for it if I need. Is Kilowattrel any good? I'm worried about Kilowattrel losing its Sash to Sand, and there's no Intimidate users. It is faster than Meowskarada, though. I don't have to bring a fire weakness. <laughs> um, for Tyranitar and, like, Vaporeon could cause trouble for Primarina, so I actually think I want Rillaboom last. I think Primarina can do really good here, but I need something to cover for that Vaporeon. Just being immune to my Hyper Voice would be really annoying. Since Liquid Voice makes it water, they got Water Absorb, probably. That's a, that's a card. It's a selfie in a place. It's alright. And Meowskarada Sylveon. Okay. Uh, not the lead I expected. But I think this is okay. What was the Terra type on this? Was it Fire, right? Yeah, Fire High Dragon is perfect. That means I can just go for Fake Out into Meowskarada, Terra Fire, Heat Wave. Then the... Is that okay? Do I need to burn Terra elsewhere? That'll make me a little bit more weak to Tyranitar. A little bit more weak to Vaporeon, but I have Rillaboom for Vaporeon. So yeah, I think I want to fake out Meowskarada, since it could be Sash. Terra Fire Heat Wave. I guess I could also say both of my Mons res resist Grass and Dark. But I don't want Meowskarada to pull out something random, so I'm just going to go for the Terra and go for the Heat Wave here. Fake out into Heat Wave should be enough to take out Meowskarada. It won't be able to Protean away from its typing because of the Fake Out, so it'll be weak to this. Uh, they could just like double protect and scout out what I'm doing though, if they have it. Okay, they're burning a Terra, but it's something slower, so it's probably Sylveon. 
No, their Meowskerat is slower than High Dragon. Oh, and Terra Ghost. Okay, you're Terra Ghost, but you're slower than High Dragon. Which is interesting. Because I think even Adamant 252 would still go before Timid High Dragon. Great damage, I'll take it. Hyper Voice from Sylveon. And a Trick Room. Okay, there's Slow Meow's Garado with Trick Room. That's interesting. And Life Orb Sylveon is also interesting. They did go for Trick Room. Interesting. Alright, well, Hyper Voice didn't bring anything into KO range from the next one, so I think I can just go for a knockoff into Meow's Garada, since Incineroar probably will move before it. And then a single target Heat Wave plus Life Orb tick should do enough to... Oh, they're gonna boost the Sylveon. Yikes. That take out Incineroar? Yes, it does. Yow. That hurt. Now that this is spread Heat Wave, it's not gonna take out Sylveon. But we've got priority on Rillaboom. And we're connecting all our heat waves, which is good. And a burn on Sylveon is also nice. Um, I'm thinking I could go into Rillaboom. Just to either pick off the Sylveon or fake out a Torkoal, maybe. That'll let them hyper voice. I'm gonna go down to Life Orb or Burn. They went before Insin, and Insin is 83, so they're going to be slower than anything on this team. If it's Torkoal, I really need the Fake Out. But even then, what does it matter? I'm only getting through one turn of Trick Room with that. Yeah, there's Torkoal. But what does that really get me? Not a whole lot. Yeah, I got a fake out Torkoal, and they're gonna just go for Hyper Voice and knock out High Dragon. Knock them out, knock themselves out. And then I do, if they, unless they protect Torkoal. If they protect Torkoal, I don't. If they protect Torkoal, I could hit the Sylveon. I don't think they protect Torkoal, though. <laughs> Ooh, this is not looking good. <laughs> okay, we got the flinch on Torkoal. Yeah, because it was a hyper point from Sylveon. Sylveon is going down. That's one good thing. Free Marina can take any hit from this Torkoal, I'm sure. Unless it has, like, Solar Beam? Oh, that'd be scary. But if it's using Solar Beam, it's not hitting my Rillaboom. Come on, Primarina, you got this. And Tyranitar gets rid of the Sun, which is actually really good for me. That lets Primarina live even better. Okay, two turns of Trick Room. And now Hyper Voice is neutral on the Torkoal. So actually, if I Grassy Glide into Tyranitar, Hyper Voice might be able to take them out from here after the Glide. Yeah, I guess that's what I go for. Glide into Titar. Please don't be weakness policy. Okay, they're not. Eruption should still take Rillaboom. Yeah. So we just have to take one hit from Titar. You can do this, Prim. Oh, they crit the Prim with Torkoal. Alright, don't crit it with Tyranitar, please. Or just be faster than us? It's unlikely on the Crit Room team. Yeah. Oh, Stone Edge? That knocks us out! No! Pre Marina, no! Okay, GG. Very cool team. And it worked. Ah, oh, should have been better prepared for Torkoal. GG. Okay, here we are with a Regulation H team. Uh, a little bit of an unorthodox one, but I'm not gonna sleep on it. They got some strong picks like Umbreon, Kaparaja, Mineshow. They also have Altaria. Alchemy with Decorate is threatening, and Zangoose. Zangoose isn't particularly good, mostly because it's outclassed by like Ursaluna, but it's still strong. Nothing stops it from being strong just because there's something slightly stronger. Okay. And it's fast, so that's kind of threatening in that way. 
Ensign is scared of the inner focus mind shell. We got ghost. We do got ghost. Can Primarina sweep here? Primarina look good. I'd be worried about facade. Golden Go looks really good as well. They got a couple dark types though. Primarina can threaten those dark types. So maybe I start with Primarina and one of the fake outs to try to start sweeping with Calm Mind. Golden Go in the back. Which of these looks better? Ensign is a little more immediately threatened by stuff, but Rillaboom can't do much damage into Altaria. I think Ensign's good. There is the Zangoose I would like to intimidate. Golden Go, and then... Is it Rillaboom? I think it's Kilowattrel for some speed control in the late game. Because Zangoose and Mindshow could be faster than this Golden Go. This Golden Go is 252 modest. 252 speed, modest. So it could be faster, but something like Zangoose, I'm sure, is even faster than that. Ooh, kitties! In fact, let me check Zangoose's speed stat. You should know these things when you're... Oh, Alchemy Umbreon. That's an interesting lead. Yeah, Zangoose base speed is 90, so it could be faster than any Golden Go. Inner focus on that. That's normal. Oh, I do like that they let a dark type, because my goal was to stop dark types. Oh, I think I'll get a little greedy and go for a Calm Mind boost. And you're not going to decorate Umbreon. You could be like a Terra Poison Toxic Umbreon. So I don't, I don't want to just throw a Moonblast, because they're probably going to Terra. So I think I want a Calm Mind. I don't know if Fake Out... Inner Focus on one. An alchemy I've seen with Covert Cloak before, so I'm worried about trying to fake it out and wasting my time. I guess I could Parting Shot into something, but I don't want to bring Golden Go in just yet. Maybe I'll go for a knockoff onto Umbreon, just in case. Okay, they go for a Detect. Should have been a fake out into alchemy then. They are going to decorate the Umbreon. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and uh, Parting Shot that then, thanks. Got my Calm Mind boost. We're slower than Alchemy. Oh, and they're Mirror Herb too! Oh no! Oh, they just got so many boosts. Okay, that's scary. That is a very scary Umbreon all of a sudden. Let's go ahead and Moonblast it. Knock off all- okay, they had Mirror Herb. Let's Moonblast it and let's Flare Blitz it for good measure, actually. I'm not gonna Parting Shot into something else. That something else will just get hit. Right now we got our two Dark Resists on the field. Encore! Oh! Oh, this guy's cooking! Oh man! and a luring voice into Primarina. That doesn't do too much. And since you were faster and tried to encore us into that, you, you don't get the confusion. But I'm probably gonna have to swap Primarina out. Let's hope Flare Blitz does some good damage. Oh, it does really good damage. Okay. We also sh found out that our Incineroar is slower than Umbreon, so I'm happy to Parting Shot out now. Ooh, but with Primarina, what do I want to do? Because I want a Parting Shot into Golden Go to bring it in safely. Maybe I just go for a Calm Mind here. I'm only locked into this for like two more Calm Minds, and I might be able to live that long. And I'll Parting Shot into Alchemy. Yeah, Umbreon Protect. That makes a lot of sense. And another Decorate. I'm getting scared of that thing. Oh boy. Fortunately, Golden Go is allowed to protect in front of that Alchemy. Since uh, Golden Go can't be hit by Encore. Alright, hopefully you're not clear, Amy. That's good. So I can get out.
Now, I would need to take out Alchemy. <laughs> Alchemy speed stat. This guy's cooking so much, I need to look up the stats of all his Pokemon. Base 64. Okay, so Golden Go will be faster than Alchemy. Meaning, I can do my last Calm Mind. And protect. And then next turn, take it out before it can Encore me again. That's my plan. And we saw how much Umbreon can do to Primarina. I think we're safe from a hit this turn, at least. But I'm sure it can one-shot my Golden Go now that it's at, like, what, plus five? Dark Pulse or even, like, Snarl is gonna take us out. Protect from Alchemy. I like to see that. That also confirms we are, in fact, faster. Yeah, it was Dark Pulse. Cool. Is there any way we could just Terra to get around the Dark Pulse KO in Golden Go? And if the Alchemy is Sash, they could just take the Make It Rain and Encore us again? That would be annoying. Uh, but we could get around that by going for Protect this turn. <sighs> that thing is scary! Plus one special defense, I don't think Make It Rain knocks it out. So yeah, I do think our best bet is Protect Primarina. Are we gonna live? Just in case it's Sash? Would it be Sash there? No, Mind Shao is almost always Sash. No, I think we're probably fine. Hyper Voice. Make It Rain, come on. Okay, here's a Terra on their end. Is it Alchemy so they can survive in Calm Mind? No, it's Umbreon so they can survive and hit us back harder. Fine. Oh, I wasn't going for a Moonblast anyway though, so actually that Terra doesn't matter. Here's Make It Rain. Oh, it is Sash Alchemy. Ooh, that could be bad. No, they just go for Decorate though. Alright, I was worried about an Encore in the Prima Arena. Losing Golden Go, I think is a fine trade for me. Because Primarina is in a sweeping position. Yeah, plus six Dark Pulse. Ter critical hit, plus six Dark Pulse. <laughs> Golden Go and Terra was not going to save you from that. But now we get to Hyper Voice and you're gone. Good, 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 good. Very good. Alright, uh, I'm trying to remember what else they had. It won't let me look because I'm going to be in my party selection. I think Incineroar is fine, though. Uh, if they have Mind Shao, that's a little annoying, but I do have Terra Ghost. So yeah, we should be fine. Alright, who do you got left? Show me a Z Oh, it's, it is Mind Shao. We're probably gonna have to Terra Ghost. And Zangoose. I'm glad I intimidated that. I could also bring in Kilowattrel, which would be faster than either thing. There's no way they double ins in here. So I should be able to protect and bring in Kilowattrel. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that. Because they've got a fake out turn. Oh, they just cancel. Yeah, they're not, they don't think they're gonna break Primarina. Let's go, Primarina! We are back. Fought a lot of Torkoals, honestly. Which is funny, because when Evan was using this team, I was using a Torkoal team. Oh, so this team just fights Torkoal a lot. <laughs> Anyways, go ahead and try this team yourself. Hop on the casual ladder for now with it. I'd love to see this team on there. It's a really strong team. And it's got some cool picks. Uh, but anyways, I'm Jordy. And uh, alright. Peace. <laughs>